All right, it's here. Spring allergies are in full bloom, and allergy sufferers are miserable with itchy eyes and runny noses. Experts are calling it a pollen tsunami. Sounds like a bad B movie. Uh, joining us now is uh, CBS News chief medical correspondent, Dr. John LePook. Good to be here. So I am really scared to even talk about this because <laughs> I I normally get allergies, you know, in autumn, but right, over exactly. the past few years I've been getting them now in the springtime, and now I hear about this. Already people are suffering. Why is it so bad? Well, you know, there was a lot of water over the winter, plenty of that. Yeah. Um, and then it was a cold winter. So normally the tree pollen comes first and then the grass, the tree pollen starts, say, the end of winter, beginning of spring. Mm -hmm. And then the, the uh, grass pollen comes like in May. Now it's kind of been delayed and you're getting the tree pollen right now. Okay. Uh, and it's coming full on. It's coming full on. Yes. Yeah. So we were so anxious to get rid of this horrible winter, but the winter's coming back to bite us. Right. Instead of creeping on you to have a little bit of pollen, a little bit of pollen, it just, boom, just dumped on you. But I, I actually went online and checked the pollen counts today, and they're pretty bad in the Northeast. It's a moderate, moderate high for tree pollen. Mm -hmm. Not so much on grass yet. Okay. A little bit for mold. So can we expect it to get worse this season? Yeah, well, I think normally what happens is we die out with the tree pollen and then we come in with the grass. And now you may have the tree get delayed, the grass is, will come up, and so the two of them will be together uh, mm -hmm. in May, maybe even through June. So there are some practical things that people can do. I think okay. most people know uh, when they go outside to wear a hat, uh, wear, obviously, the more you can protect your, your, uh, your face, right. uh, the better. Um, sunglasses to protect your eyes. And then when you come back inside, the best clinical pearl I have is as soon as possible, take your clothes off. Uh, wait until you get back to the apartment to take your clothes off. Uh, but then, uh, <laughs> yes. then, then that's a whole take, other problem. Take a whole have. other problem you're going to have. <laughs> uh, but there's not a lot of pollen in jail, so, so <laughs> maybe that'll help you. Um, and then take a shower, especially the kids, because think about it in your mind's eye. Your head is like a mop, yeah. and there's this invisible pollen that's there. Uh, if you could see it, you'd get freaked out, right? Yeah. And every time the kid goes like this or you go like this, it's just being showered with this pollen that right. can, goes into your eyes and your nose. If you take a, take a shower, you can just get rid of it. That totally makes sense. Uh, I think most people just sort of rely on medication, though. What's, what yeah, about medication? Th there are medications. Of course, we know about the over-the-counter antihistamines that are good, you know, for the eye itching, the watery eyes, the itching. Not as good for the nose stuffiness, mm -hmm. but things like Zyrtec and Claritin, Allegra. Mm -hmm. Um, then for the nose, there are nasal uh, sprays, including steroid sprays, uh, some mm -hmm. of which are over the counter, some of which you need a prescription for. Uh, and then just some simple things like taking saline uh, sprays and just washing getting them washing it out. Yeah. It's sort of like your car. If you come out, your car is covered in pollen. You're trying to just wash it off of your body, wash it off of your clothes and your yeah. eyes and whatever and else. I, and I saw something about when you see pollen, Stay away from it. You know, your instinct to sort of sweep it away yeah. if you see it. No, you may want to do that with a wet mop if there's nobody around. Better find somebody who's not allergic, have them clean it up. Right. Last thing you want to do is, is have it blowing, and, and that goes for a windy day. Right. A warm, windy day with the pollen blowing around, it's you know, particularly bad. Uh, earlier you mentioned that you would check the pollen counts. Is there any sort of technology that people can use to find out when there's a bad the, day? You know, day? I don't want to plug any one uh, app, but I just, if you go into your app uh, store mm -hmm. and search for pollen counters, uh, you'll see a bunch of them. Okay. And they all said the same thing to me, which is this is a bad day. This is a bad day. Bad oh, day. man. I, like I said before, I normally, the past few years I've been suffering, I'm not. I'm afraid I'm going get to get hit really hard. And I'm afraid that just talking to you about this that, is that going to That can do Magical thinking is very important. You know how I knew it was pollen season this week is that suddenly I found myself walking our dog, Ash, in the morning. Usually my wife, Kate, walks Ash, and she said, oh, man, it's just too hard. So She's your every, personal pollen indicator? Yeah, I don't need the app. <laughs> I got my wife.